Here's how to create awesome text animations like Mr. Beast. And I'm not talking about this, but I'm talking about this and this. Let's jump on in. If you've been watching Mr. Beast for the past couple of years, you've probably seen a huge increase in budget. And this is not just the production gear and the crazy amount of prize money, but it's also in the post-production. Just take a look at the CGI shot. And this was just for a YouTube production. His text effects and animations have also been upgraded. And that's what we're going to be focusing on today. I'm not going to be showing you how to create this effect yet, but maybe one day. The first text effect that I'm showing you is how to create that glowy text effect with the horizontal lines, kind of like what you see on CCTV footage. In After Effects, I have an empty comp here. And the first thing we need to do is create some text. So you can press Control T or Command T to enable the type tool. And we can type out whatever you want. Let's go to the properties tab and change the font and the text color. If you don't see this tab, you can enable it here. To make it less boring, let's add the CC light sweep effect to our text layer. So note that I'm using a free plugin called FX console to quickly apply effects to layers. But if you don't have this installed, you can simply go to the effects and presets tab and you can apply effects from that panel. So once the effect is applied, go to the effect controls tab and here we can adjust the light sweep position and direction. I'm going to make it 90 degrees so the light goes across the text horizontally. We can adjust the look even further with these settings, but try not to make it too bright because the glow effects we'll be adding later will make it even brighter. Now you can't call it a Mr. Beast text without adding a stroke around it. So let's right click on the layer, go to layer styles and pick stroke. Then we can add the stroke color and size right under the layer. Now we could have added a stroke to the text using the properties tab, but doing so the stroke will also be affected by the light sweep effect. So we're going to right click on the text layer and we're going to pre-compose it. This is pretty much like nesting in Premiere Pro. Now we can finally add some special sauce to it. Let's add the VR glow effect to our pre-comp and then I'll lower the luma threshold until my whole text gets this glow. Now we can adjust the radius and brightness to get the glow that we want. When it comes to adding glows, Mr. Beast does not hold back. So why should we? So let's select the VR glow effect and let's press control or command plus D to duplicate it. Then go to the first frame and on our second glow, let's add a keyframe to the threshold and brightness. When the text pops in, I want it to go from super bright to a normal glow within a few frames. Kind of like how Mr. Beast does it. So doing so, it really brings attention to the text when it first pops up. To sauce it up even more, let's add a Venetian blinds effect. And this is what will give us that CCTV effect. So let's set the transition completion to about 10 for now. And basically this determines the thickness of the lines. So let's change the direction to 90 and I'll lower the width to get more lines. I think this looks pretty good. Now we could call this a day, but if you look at the Mr. Beast video again, you'll see that his text also flickers a lot, kind of like that CCTV screen effect, right? So to do this, I'm going to add a Lumetri color effect underneath all of our effects. And then we can go down to the white values. And what we need to do here is make the white values go up and down rapidly. So the text looks like it's flickering. To do that, we need to do some expression. So you're going to hold alt on a PC or option on a Mac while while pressing the stopwatch icon to open up the expression box down in the timeline. Here we can write in wiggle, open bracket, 10 comma 30 and close bracket. The first number here is the frequency. The second is the amount. So if I play now, our white values will go up and down 10 times a second by no more than 30. So feel free to adjust these numbers depending on what you're going for and we're done. But now let's see how we can actually use this animation. If we look at Mr. Beast video, sometimes the text is up in a corner or other times it's actually tracked to a moving person. So this is pretty easy to do inside of After Effects. What you need to do is select our footage and open up the tracker panel and then hit track motion. Now I've made multiple videos on this channel on tracking basics, so I'll be pretty quick here. Let's move the track point to a spot on our subject with high contrast. And then let's press analyze forward. And once it's done tracking, let's create a null layer and on the tracker panel, let's edit the text to our null layer and press apply. Let's move the text to a spot next to our subject's head and parent the text layer to the null object. 
And bada bing, bada boom. The text is now sticking to our subject. A question for all you creators watching here. Have you ever run out of ideas? I know I have. To help me research my video ideas, let me introduce you to my new favorite creative companion, Spotter Studio. So Spotter Studio helps me and my team come up with successful video ideas using real data from YouTube. It can show you what's trending based on your niche on YouTube combined with data from your own YouTube channel. It shows me what other videos my audience enjoys or which type of video might perform best on my channel. So no more getting confused by your analytics page, Spotter Studio will nudge you to make videos that will get more views while also letting you be creative and giving you creative control. So here's the Spotter Studio experience. You can brainstorm your video titles or you can come up with new ones. And if you find an idea that you like, you can move it inside the developments tab and further refine that idea by coming up with hooks and AI can generate thumbnail concepts for you. I can even upload a photo of myself to use as a reference for the mock-up thumbnails. And once the thumbnail is created, you can iterate off of that so you can say something like this, but instead of red coloring, let's use more purple coloring. And Spotter Studio helped me brainstorm this video that you're watching right now. So if you feel like you're stuck in a rut, let Spotter Studio help kickstart your creative ideas. You can use my link below to get 14 days free. Give it a try. Thanks to Spotter Studio for sponsoring this video. And now let's get into the next Mr. Beast text effect. Our next text effect that we're creating is this floating text effect that's usually associated with some type of drone footage. The first thing we need to do is 3D tracking. So select your drone footage and go to the tracker panel again and click on track camera. So we're going to wait for After Effects to analyze the whole video. So if you're new to tracking, in general, don't worry, I'll put a link to another video I made on 3D tracking at the end of this video. All right, so once it's done, we'll see a bunch of these tracking markers on our footage. So we're going to select the ones that stick to the island the best and then right click and let's select ground plane and origin. So now After Effects knows where the ground is in 3D space, but now we need to select these points again, right click and set create solid in camera. So on the solid layer, let's resize and move it where you want the text to be in 3D space. For example, right above the island. If I hit play and the 3D solid stays at the right spot the whole time, that means that our tracking data is solid. See what I did there? So what we can do is we can hide all the layers for now and let's focus on creating our text. So I made three text layers, one for the number counter, another for the word hours, and the last one says 100 hours. The reason for this is I wanted to create this text animation where the numbers shoot up from zero to 100. So we're going to hide the 100 hours text layer for now. And on the counter layer, we'll add the slider control effect. Let's expand the layer down in the timeline and on the source text parameter, pull the pick whip to the slider parameter. Now I can change the number on the slider and it will be reflected in the text. So let's keyframe the slider to go to zero to 99. And now when we play, it's working, but we get these long decimal values and nobody wants that. So to get rid of it, we're gonna to go to the source text expression and we'll see the expression that lets our slider control the text. So what we need to do is write in math with a capital M dot round and add an open parentheses in front of the original expressions and add a closing parentheses at the end. And now you can say bye bye to all those decimals, adios. All right, so I know all of this can be overwhelming, so let's just take a breath and let's take some water, take a little break before we continue, huh? So we're going to move the playhead to the spot where our counter hits 99. So we can select the counter and hours layer and press Control plus Shift plus D or Command plus Shift plus D to split the layers and delete the unwanted layers. And now we can unhide the 100 hours layer and move it to the right. We want it to appear right when the two layers disappear. With the layer selected, let's press S to open up the scale parameter and set a keyframe. Let's move the keyframe a few frames to the right and scale it up a bit. This will create a quick pop animation for when our counter hits 100. So now it's time to make the text 3D. So tick this box on all the layers to make it 3D so we can give it some depth. If you don't see this box, press F4. But if I expand the layer to geometry options and bump up the extrusion depth, the extrusion 
will be white, but we want it to be black like in the Mr. Beast video. So what we have to do is select all three text layers, press Control D or Command plus D to duplicate them, and let's move them below our white text layers. Change the text color on these duplicated layers to black. And with these layers selected, go to extrusion depth and bump it up till it's noticeable. Now that our text animation is done, let's select all the text layers and pre-comp it. Make this pre-comp 3D and also tick this box here to bring out the 3D information from inside the pre-comp. So if this isn't ticked, when we rotate our pre-comp, you won't be able to see the depth of our text in 3D space. So let's unhide the camera layer and our footage layer. No need to unhide the solid layer, but we need to copy its position data here to our text pre-comp. So the text moves to the same spot as the solid layer in 3D space, which should be right above the island. We might need to rotate or resize the text a bit using this 3D gizmo. And if we play, our text stays with the island. So you know what's missing? a stroke around the text. We can't miss that. But if I add a stroke to this 3D layer, nothing happened. So what we need to do is select all the layers except the footage and pre-comp it. And on this pre-comp, we can right click and add a stroke. For some finishing touches, we'll need to pre-comp again and make sure to move all attributes. Then we can add the VR glow effect and add some keyframes to make it super bright right when it hits 100. We can also easily change the text color by adding a tint effect above the glow and change the white color to whatever you want. Another thing Mr. Beast likes to do with his text is to have a light sweep pass through the whole text to bring more attention to it. So what we can do is add a CC light sweep effect like we used in the first example and keyframe the center point to go from left to right. And here we go. Another popular Mr. Beast effect is the counter effect, which is similar to the style that I showed you in the first animation. So to start, I made this player icon using the shape tools and added a stroke around it. Now let's create a text layer next to it. So to make the number spin into another number, we need to make our text layer 3D by ticking this box. Then select the text layer and hold Y while moving this 3D gizmo. This will let us move the anchor point to the middle of the text. Down in the timeline here, let's press R to show the rotation parameters. Let's go to the frame where I want the number to change and add a keyframe to the X rotation. Let's make it rotate from zero to 90 degrees to get it to spin halfway. Without moving our playhead, let's press Control Shift D or Command Shift D to cut our text layer to split the layer on that exact frame. So on our new text layer, let's change X rotation from 90 to minus 90, and then move the first keyframe to the back. Now don't forget to change the text on this layer to another number. And if I play it now, we will get a full spin. I added a couple more numbers here, and this is what it looks like. Let's also take this box on all our text layers to enable motion blur. If the blur isn't working, make sure the 3D render is set to classic 3D. Now pre-comp all of the text layers into one. And now we can finally add the sauce to it. And let's do the same with the icon shape layer. I recommend separating the icon and the numbers into different pre-comps so we can adjust the glows separately. Mr. Beast Editor also likes to add a little bit of wiggle. So to do that, let's create a null object and let's rename it to wiggle. Then let's parent both the text and the icon layer to our wiggle null. With this setup, if I move the null layer around in any layer that is parented to it, it will follow. So to make it wiggle, let's press P to open up the position parameter. And now let's hold Alt while we press the stopwatch. If you're on a Mac, press option and click on the stopwatch. And here we can type in a wiggle expression, just like I taught you earlier. And here we go. I can also create another null layer and call it slide up. And let's parent the first null here to this one. And on our slide up null, we can animate it to, you guessed it, to slide up from the bottom of the frame. 
And there we have it. If you want access to these three different text animations that we just created with the original project files, you can join my Patreon community and download my project files for free so you can see everything that we did. So let me know if you want me to break down other text effects and animations from other famous YouTubers. We're always open to suggestions. And if you want to access over 1700 different motion graphics templates and transitions, you can check out my gal toolkit right over here for After Effects and Premiere Pro. And if you want to learn about more tracking tips, you can click right over here. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. And as always, keep creating better video with Gal. See you next time. Bye. Whoop.